is important to me. And I could not imagine not coming here. Rather than just give money, I thought I'd better get up off my backside and help. And that's what I did. What really blew me away was how friendly everybody is, how well every team works together, and just the goodness in everybody. I give them the height of praise. To me, they're just special people. By helping them as much as I can, I feel the better person for it. It was a pleasure for me because I've never been up in a plane. So I recommend anyone to, to come along and do it. It's, it's just a fantastic experience. You couldn't put a price in the work uh, that's done here. I've seen my colleagues give up service that you couldn't buy. It's a huge undertaking, and it's only people who are foolish for the love of Christ that will do it. When you consider that we're setting off with almost 500 people, 120 of them quite ill, and anything can go wrong. And you say, well, you know, you imagine the head, but it's the foolishness of Christ, I think, that brings us. It's the trust we have in our blessed lady and trust we have in our Lord that we do it. the first group ever to bring pilgrims from Ireland to Lourdes, the others were the very first. And with the exception of the war years when it was impossible to travel, we have brought a pilgrimage every year. Our pilgrims are drawn from England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales and the island of Jersey. We're the opposite of Mary Immaculate, so we're, we're under the banner of our Blessed Lady. And of course, Lourdes is very particular to our Blessed Lady, where she appeared to St. Bernadette. She asked people to come there and to do penance and to pray and to bring their burdens to the grotto. So because we are sons of Mary Immaculate, we see this as a, a very special ministry. And there's 98 young people here with us this year. The emphasis on service, and when you see what they're doing, this is really the gospel in action. How the young people, how they, they give up themselves in their service to others. The Obla congregation, as we try to live out the charisma of beauty and demasnod in our lives, we live that charism with others. As Eugene, in his day, reached out to people, and we tried to see what would have Eugene maybe have done in his day and living in his spirit, how can we respond? In the French word is accueil, which means welcome. It's really a hostile, welcoming place for people and its origins were uh, the olden days when the poor people around the Lourdes area, they came on foot. The higher night of the year to come to Lourdes, there's something so special. All these helpers, they just make it. 
make it so easy for everybody, you know? Invalids and able-bodied people from the Anglo-Irish province, they travel out for five days every September. We generally bring 120 invalids, or guests as we like to call them, and obviously there has to be quite a number of volunteers who travel out to look after them. You would have your bronchardiers, the male helpers, your handmaids, the female helpers, nurses, clergy and the Ovalid Youth Service. Young people, all volunteers from England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales who travel out to devote those five days to the care of the invalids. Absolutely everyone that I've been talking to said they're just getting so much out of being at the ceremonies here in Lourdes. You're experiencing firsthand a Christian way of life and it makes the gospel more real to these people. It makes the mass more real, it makes the Eucharist more real to these people by experiencing it. And we're just helping them from one place to another, talking to them, getting to know them. Some of the people here have been going for five, six years and the bonds they have with some of the patients, they're nearly crying when they come back each year. And it's just, it's something that I'd like to experience again and again. I'm responsible for the handmaids to make sure we have cover in all areas because we look after the dining room and the kitchens where we prepare food for some of the invalids who don't like the food they've got from the hospital or who can't eat the food that is provided by the hospital. And then we have handmaids working on the wards who make the beds, tidy the rooms, clean the rooms, change the bed linen if it gets soiled. In general, look after the welfare of the patients on the wards from a cleaning aspect of it and chatting to the patients which is very nice because the patients recognise the blue tunics and they feel more at home and more at ease. I'll see you later, May. We also carry the banners. So we do a little bit in all of the areas. I am the Chief of Brancardiers for the pilgrimage. The name is linked back to the French word for stretcher, which is a brancard. So originally, uh, those who helped here in Lourdes were people who lifted stretchers and brought people to the baths in those very early days. During our time in Lourdes, we are responsible for all of the movements that the pilgrimage takes. So wherever it goes, I mean, there's 122 with us this year. So, you know, we have to move 122 people to any service that we're going to go to. First thing in the morning, we will come down and we will help to get the guests up and changed and ready and then with the help of the youth service as well we get them into the dining room for their breakfast the handmaids then start cleaning the rooms washing them fixing the beds up and then there's another group of them in the dining room serving up the meals and that goes on continuous throughout the day for all the meals that they have three times a day you really feel appreciated and that you're you know you're wanted and that you're doing something good and Five days to give up out of your normal life isn't much at all when there's 365 days in a year. And at the end of it all, you go home tired, but you feel so much better for coming here and doing it. I've been to the ceremonies, and yet I don't feel like I've had a religious overload. You don't feel like that because the masses and the ceremonies here are designed around the invalids, the malad, and you just happen to be like an invited guest. You should enjoy it, but it's not for you. Your job is to enjoy in somebody else's big day, and that's really what the Lourdes can be about. We did training so that we'd know how to properly push a wheelchair, be able to talk to the patients so they're as comfortable as possible. And then today we brought them over to the St. Bernadette Church and we had a Mass there, opening Mass of the Oblitz pilgrimage. Then we went over and we got the group photograph taken outside the church. I think when people come here they have great expectations 
they're looking for a miracle. But when they look around and they see the myriads of people that have all sorts of awful things and so ill, it's more a spiritual healing than a physical healing. Now, I certainly have experienced one healing that was definitely a miracle. It was a young boy. Um, I carried him on my knee, in fact, on, on the airplane and on the, on the, um, the foregrounds going to and from. A little boy from Offaly, and he had terminal cancer, and he was cured. Say but the word, and I shall be healed. We range from people with motor neuron, multiple cirrhosis, very incapacitated people, to young children, people with learning disabilities. Quite a few of those. We have some people who are deaf. We have one gentleman who's partially sighted. We have people who live alone and never see the light of day from one end of the year to the other. There wouldn't be much wrong with them other than that they're alone. And this is an actual trip that they really, really enjoy and they come every year. May the Lord who is loving mercy help you greatly with his spirit. Amen. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. A lot of them, it's the only time that they will get away from either their home or the nursing homes that they're in. They have great inner faith and they have great faith in Our Lady. God help some of them very and they can't even help themselves, you know. That includes myself too, I suppose. But, um, I um I like I like coming here. You just have to look at the hundred and twenty guests that come out with our pilgrimage. Year in, year out, people with awful, awful disabilities. And I firmly believe that they get the strength to last from one end of the year to the next from Lourdes.